Welcome. In this video, I'm going to use some command line tools to pull every third line from a text file. So I'll put a link in the description to my website where I'll have this command so you can copy and paste it. And this should work on Mac command line. It should work on Linux and also on Windows if you're using Windows subsystem for Linux. So the case where I've used this myself is with YouTube's captions. So I'm on a YouTube video in YouTube Studio on the caption tab. And then I can go over here to these three dots on the right and I can say download. And I'll go to the downloads folder. And I'll just move that to my desktop here. So I can drag that onto text edit to open it. And you see here, this has timecode data. So it has timecode, the text, space, timecode, text, space. So say I wanted to take this text as a transcript, I'd have to go and delete these two lines in the middle here. So you can do that easily using the command line. So I'll open up a terminal. I'll switch to my desktop with CD. So I'll type CD space desktop make this bigger so it's easier to read. Now I can type less and then space captions dot SBV. I'll hit enter and we see the file there. Okay. So we're going to use awk to find every third line. So I'll type AWK space quote NR space percent sign space three and I'll do space equals equals zero. Then I'll do quote again space and now the name of the file and I'll hit enter. So I'm just doing this as an example. I pulled every third line, but I pulled the blank lines. So I'll type head space dash N five and then captions. So the reason is, is because the third line here is blank. So it pulled every blank line. So I'll clear my screen. I'll go back to that command again. And this zero here is the key. So I can change this to one and I'll hit enter. And this shows us all the timestamps. I'll change it to two. And now it just has the text. So you can view that second number as like the offset what you want to start on. So I'll clear my screen again. So this takes the line number, divides it, and if the remainder is two, then it outputs that line. So this is pretty slick. So this has every line on a separate line, and you could just open this up with a text editor. I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But if you wanted to get rid of the line feeds here and replace them with spaces, we can use TR to do that. So I'll clear my screen. So I have this command that does what I want. Then I'll type shift pipe, and then space, and then TR, space, then single quote, backslash and backslash space single quote space single quote I'll hit enter and now you see it changed the line feeds into spaces so I'll clear my screen here I'll go back up here and then I'll do a greater than symbol and then I'll say captions.txt now if I type less captions.txt we see we have the text here now you're still going to need to open this up in a document and add in periods and capitalization and things like that but this would save you from having to type it all out. And certainly there's probably other instances where you might want to pull every third line out of a document for some reason. I'll quit out of here, I'll hit clear. I'll back up a little bit. If you didn't want to remove the line feeds, you could just do this. So you have the input file here, captions.sbv, space, greater than, space, captions.txt. And now if we look at captions.txt, we have just the text here. So I think this is a good example of how you can use a simple command line command once you know the command to do a task that would be relatively difficult to do in say Word or some other piece of software. And while I haven't tried it, I imagine you could do this on a file that was many, many gigabytes. You can typically use Unix command line tools on huge, huge files and they'll just run and run and run and they won't crash. It's pretty amazing. And you could also run these on systems that don't have a lot of hardware. So you wouldn't need a tremendous amount of RAM or processing power to use these tools. In my instance here, doing this takes almost no processing power. It's pretty easy to do. So that's all I have for this video. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.